For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, we're going to do these two exercises together. They're just time consuming, but they're just trying to prove a point. So they're good to understand. So basically what they want you to do is they want you to find the resultant couple moment, which is very easy to do. And then they want you to find the, the resultant moment on the assembly by calculating the moments about point A and about point B for these two exercises. A for the first one, B for the second one. So that's what we're going to do. So the first thing you need to understand about this problem is that each of the forces can be divided into x and y components, x component, y component, x component, y component, x component, y component. Now what you need to notice right off the bat is that in these two 80 pound forces, the y components are canceling each other out. They're not really doing anything. And in this 50 pound force, the x components are canceling each other out. Again, they're not really doing anything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just get rid of them to make this problem look much, much easier. So the only force doing anything here is the horizontal force. And the only force doing anything here is the vertical force. We're going to find these forces. This force is given by 80 times 4 over 5, according to this triangle, which comes up to be 64 pounds. And this force is 64 pounds as well, of course. They're the same force. And this one is given by 50 cosine of 30, which is the same as 43.3. 43.3. So now that we got the forces that are actually doing something, let me just get rid of the other forces to clean our diagram a little bit. And now this looks much, much easier to solve. So basically what we're going to do right now is calculate the couple moment the easy way, which is basically just multiplying the couples by the distance between them. So they're telling you that D is 4 feet in both exercises. So we can do them together. So assuming counterclockwise is positive, sum of the moments is equal to what? That would be 64, this couple moment, times D, which is the distance between them, which is 4 feet. And this is creating a counterclockwise moment, which would make it positive. And same for the second one, 43.3 times the distance between them, which is 3 feet. 43.3 times 3. And this is creating a clockwise moment, so it's negative. So when you calculate this, you get that the sum of the moments is equal to 126.1. And is foot pounds. And is of course, counterclockwise because it's positive. So as the sum of the moments found the easy way. Now each of the problems wants you to calculate the sum of the moments. Let me erase this to clean it up a little bit again. They want you to calculate the sum of the moments about A and the sum of the moments about B right here. So we're going to do A first. So sum of the moments at A is equal to 3 feet times 64 because it's turning this lever arm. Let's assume counterclockwise is positive to maintain that. So it's 64 times 3 and it's turning it clockwise so it's negative. Now the other one is this one so it's 64 times 3 plus D which is 4 so it's 7. So it's 64 times 7, and it's positive because it's counterclockwise. Now these two forces, the, 40, the first 43.3 is turning this lever arm counterclockwise, so it's positive, plus 
times was that distance is 2 feet. And the last one turns this longer lever arm, which is 2 plus 3 is 5 feet, so it's 43.3 times 2 plus 3 is 5, and it's clockwise, so it's negative. So once you add all these together, you should get that the answer is 126.1 foot pounds, kind of clockwise because it's positive. As you can see, it coincides with the first one. And then we're going to do the same thing for we're going to do the same thing for B. Let's put it down here. Sum of the moments at B is equal to let's assume kind of clockwise is positive, just like we've been doing. So Let's calculate this moment first. The moment that this first 43.3 pound force creates turns this two feet lever arm, so it's 43.3 times two, and it's positive because it's going kind of clockwise. The second one is trying to turn it the opposite way, which is 43.3 times the distance is two plus three is five, and it's negative. Now, then we have this one right here at a distance of 1 feet, which is 64 times 1 feet, and it's turning it clockwise, so it's negative. And the last one is the distance of D plus 1 feet, which is 5 feet, 64 times 5, and it's turning it kind of clockwise, so it's positive. So once you add all these together, you're going to get that the answer is also 126.1 counterclockwise foot pounds because it's positive. That's why it's counterclockwise. So it's the sum of the moments at B. Now, what does this prove? As you can see, it coincides, everything coincides, they're all the same answer. What does this prove? This proves that you can find the moment on an assembly by calculating the moments of anywhere you want. And it also proves that the moment acts anywhere on the assembly. That's important to understand because I'm getting a lot of comments asking where in the assembly does the moment act. Guys, the moment acts anywhere on the assembly. So final answer, final answer, and final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.